moment of truth. Okay. Amaris and I are almost ready to go. El Capitan there is got his, got his hat on and ready to go. First thing the next morning, I was back to it getting the belt on. In the end, changing the approach made a big difference. With my friend's help, we attached the lower adjustable nut first and then levered the pulley onto the non-adjustable nut. like the belts are on we'll see what happens when the engine runs the moment of truth okay it's been bled blinds are open okay I'm doing it Not only was I preparing Janet for moving, but I also decided to go through every single locker and cupboard to rearrange the boat. Stowing my veterinary supplies, boat parts and personal items in a way that makes life a lot easier. with my friend Emrys and as you can see it is packed down here for Envision Festival. Uh, I'm just here for the one night. I, I couldn't do the whole weekend. Too much boat work and it's um, definitely not a cheap thing to do either but uh, yes Emrys very kindly assisted me in coming because he so desperately wanted me to enjoy a festival so that was awesome and uh, yeah we're just gonna basically spend a night chilling and partying and um, I'll head back to the boat tomorrow for more work and then they'll be joining me for um, a sail, sailing trip, so it'll be really cool.
girl. Got the laptop set up and water bowl mandarin up on deck here. So uh, as you can see, it's beautiful outside. Nice breeze. So this is how I'm gonna spend the next, uh, this afternoon. And then uh, tomorrow we'll be cleaning the boat more and more and making sure the engine's definitely doing her thing. Ready for Emirates and everybody to arrive to set sail in three days. It's a little nerve wracking, but I'm very excited. But for now, relax. All right, back to cleaning. One of the really good things about cleaning everything up is I keep finding cool stuff like these are telltales for the sails, which would be good to add. But then I also keep finding broken stuff like this, which was sitting down here for ages because all that needs to be done is a little hole needs to be drilled so this wire can come out. So I'm gonna do that now. going through the boat let me show you uh, it is the boat map aka where all the crap is and basically it's like a very amazing drawing of chuffed as you can see and then I kind of label where uh, different things have been hidden amongst the boat so when I finish this process I can neaten it up and highlight it and know where things are The completed boat map. Wow, it feels so good to finish cleaning. That was like a montage of maybe five days of work, but I'd gone through every single cupboard. So, sleeping area, or food, hanging up, a funny book called Whose Boat Is This Boat? Sorry if you're a Trump fan. I've got all the sailing gear in here, kitchen's tidy, camera gear and books and seating area, nav station all sorted, the bathroom, and people can now sleep in my spare room. And now all I've got to do up here is put some more water in my tanks, put all the diesel in my tanks, and Emrys arrives this afternoon, so almost there. One of the final steps. I'm gonna put this on. Oh look. A little bit tail sticker from my brother. I checked my sails and ran the lines back from the furler. And I had one final task before leaving port. My friend Nastia's dog Chili had been licking his bottom a lot and needed a check over. Oh my gosh, Chili! He knows, he knows something bad is going to happen. Oh, I'm sorry, Chili. Hey, my boy. Check, check. Good boy. On the other side. Good boy. Good boy, Chili. Something coming out, something coming out. Yeah, and it's kind of, um, one side was a little bloody, and mm -hmm. one side kind of looks a bit infected. Whoa. I'm just going to check the other side again. Oh my gosh. Why? Well, oh, there we go. We don't really know why some dogs get problems with them. Well done, Chili. I'm sorry, Baba. Okay, crew, we're just going to spend one or two minutes talking anal glands. So little Chili, my friend's dog, has an anal gland infection. 
So basically anal glands are two little glands that empty just inside the anus. So if we've got our little anus here of the doggy, the glands are located roughly here and here. And basically dogs have them for scent marking. So in the wild, they're uh, using it to help mark their territory um, and gives them, I guess, a distinctive smell. So probably one of the reasons dogs sniff each other's bottoms all the time. Um, but for whatever reason, we don't know exactly why, but in domestic dogs, a lot of them start having anal gland problems. Um, it's been theorized it could be because their diet's different from what they eat in the wild. Um, it could be allergy related. So a lot of doggies that either have food intolerances or get skin allergies also seem to get anal gland problems. So we wonder if this area becomes a little inflamed, which then blocks the little duct here and the little hole from emptying. Um, but there's a lot of other reasons it could be as well. And the truth is we don't exactly know. But in Chili's case, for whatever reason, one side in particular got very, very inflamed. So normally they're kind of a little bit bigger than a pea and you should be able to squeeze out their contents very easily. In Chili's case, um, I had to insert a finger just a little bit into his bottom and essentially you kind of milk the gland out. So I did that and there was blood and pus inside. So this was very inflamed and sore. So basically we've put Chili on some antibiotics um, and some anti-inflammatories for a few days. And generally once the glands are emptied a few times manually, they'll go back to normal for a period of time. Um, but a lot of doggies who get anal gland problems, I guess it reoccurs in them. So it happens over and over again. And the best thing to deal with it is basically regular expression. So getting them manually expressed regularly. Now, a lot of people think when their dog's licking their bottom or dragging their bottom that it's worms. But the reality is in a, most adult dogs, it takes a lot of worms to create clinical symptoms. So it's not very often that that's actually the case. So it's still a very good idea to worm every three months. But if your doggy is dragging their bottom or licking their bottom, it's definitely worth getting their anal glands checked as well. So that's all you need to know about anal glands at the moment. Back to the boat, I suppose. You're on camera. Emrys bought me a flag. Tiny little Australian flag. As well as um, these are some new like spin lock um, rope oh, rope clutch things. Good. Gracias, Emrys. Come on, old girl. ready to go. El Capitan there is got his, got his hat on and ready to go. So we're basically only going like it's essentially like two nautical miles for a little cruise around the bay here of Golfito to just a little beach island over the other side here. So that's kind of the route on Navionics. Direct it's only one nautical mile so it'll take all of like half an hour to do a little cruise around the bay. But I'm not putting the sails up it really is just to um, check the motor make sure the sharp seals turning properly all of that. And then manana, tomorrow we can raise some of these sails, hopefully. See what condition they're in. Yeah. <laughs> and he's trundling along. Yeah. And I think we're basically...
Emirates, we made it. Yeah. Woo! -hoo! <laughs> All right, I'm getting into. Look how pretty Punta Arenitas is. We have water coming out the side of the boat like it should be. Whee! Oh, it's nice! It's really cold. Oh, there's a current too, huh? <laughs> no wonder we got turned around this way. Yeah. Well, the anchor's probably holding because if the current's this strong, yeah, you probably didn't need to reverse. would not be holding anything Nah. Oh, it feels so good to be on that car! Oh. <laughs> Woo! See you later. See? <laughs> You're the best first mate ever, Emrys. Thank you. Yeah, I am. No worries. I feel like while we're chilling in the water, say so Emrys and I have known each other like 10 years, yeah, right? Probably more. Probably, probably almost 12 years yeah. since uni days. Yep. But I haven't seen Emrys for like almost five, six years. So, yeah. He came over to the festival and to visit me, of course. I think was the main influence. Yeah, that was the main reason. <laughs> Yay! <coughs> it came at the perfect time, Emrys. The perfect time. It was. In so many ways. <laughs> yeah, for both of us. But just like, just the whole trip, things just worked out. Uh-huh. In ways that I don't remember ever. They always, they always do, hey? That's the thing. Yeah. If you let it flow, they work. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> we made a little friend. Hello. You like the camera, do you? What do you get? So this little beach community is called Punta Arenitas and basically it's like an illegal um, bunch of restaurants so the people get shut down periodically like once a year or once every two years and then they all just come back again and sell beer in restaurant uh, food like fresh fish and things like that so it's a cool little spot though. We spent the afternoon enjoying the beautiful scenery of the Bay of Golfito, celebrating how good it felt to be off the dock and moving again. Truly chuffed feelings. Although only a short distance, this was such a sweet reminder of life at sea and how lucky I am. Next episode, we'll go around this little corner of Punta Arenitas and into the larger bay of the Gulf of Dulce. And hopefully, we'll get those sails up. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all my patrons and other supporters. This beautiful site you're seeing right here and now is made possible from your help. Until next episode, stay chuffed, everybody.